What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today, I want to talk about what T Mac said about uh, basically not understanding what, like, what James Harden is looking for in the team. So I'm going to let y'all hear that statement. I'll be back with y'all in a second. GQ. James has probably played with more Hall of Famers than anybody in the league, and he doesn't have a ring to show for it. I don't know what he's looking for. And maybe there's some internal BS that is going on that we don't know about. It doesn't make any sense to me to leave the MVP and the Eastern Conference where you have a shot at least to play for a championship. Your reaction, bro. Now, look, y'all heard what T-Mag just said, right? Now, I was going to get into detail about it, but, right, I was thinking about this episode of Odd Couple. And Chris Broussard, I'm talking about he put it in the words perfectly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let y'all listen to what Chris Broussard got to say about it. So I'm going to be back one more time. All right, I'll be right back. But obviously his performance in big games in the playoffs has been an issue. But also, dude, I mean, you know, did you see? I'm, I know you. I, I, I know you saw this movie. Above the rim. Of course. And Leon, friend of the show, uh, the great Leon Robinson actor who's been on the show with us. Uh, he, and he was a great basketball player. He played, went to Loyola Marymount to play ball before he got into acting. And um, if you remember, he was dating the star players. Dwayne Martin was a star. And Leon was dating his mother. Right. Mm -hmm. But Leon had issues. You know, I can't remember his name in the movie, but he had issues. And, you know, he he just would bail when the going got tough. And the mother finally was like, look, we're done. You're not reliable. I can't count on you. She said, you're a runner. <laughs> you're a runner. <laughs> James Harden is a runner. When it got and I look, I understood Houston. Now the way you ran wasn't right. Just just tanking on a team. You didn't just sit out. You didn't just demand the trade and wait for him to trade you. You demanded the trade, and then when you saw that they were twiddling their thumbs, you just started playing really bad basketball for, for your level, right? So he yeah. quit on the Rockets. And then he goes to the Brooklyn Nets. And look, I get it. I mean, Kyrie was exasperating. And that's Kyrie's choice. I have family members that didn't get vaccinated, so I'm not, like, ripping him for that. But it hurts your basketball team. There's no doubt about that. And James Harden was upset about that. But he ran. I mean, heck, Martin, he still had KD. It wasn't like right. without Kyrie, they were junk. He still had Kevin Durant, but he ran. And now this is what I, I don't understand. Okay, you already are on a team that has a chance to win a championship. Am I picking them if he were to stay? No. Is anybody picking them? Not likely, but a lot of it's because of Harden. Most of it's because of Harden. Now, MB's not blameless. He has not shown up like he should in the playoffs either. But if Harden would be Harden in the playoffs, if regular season James would show up in the playoffs, then they could win a championship. And so you're running again rather than stick it out. Rather than fight, you know what's on my TV, and I'm, I, I don't hear it, but it's on The Last Dance. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jordan, the re one reason people love him, Muhammad Ali, the GOAT in boxing in many people's eyes, one reason people love him is because when the going got tough, they were at their best. Ali wasn't supposed to be George Foreman, but he rose to the occasion. Michael Jordan wasn't supposed to be at the great a dynasty as a two guard, but he rose to the occasion when Detroit was beating him up. You know this, you from there. He sure. rose to the occasion. 
James Harden is running. Why you running from Joel freaking Embiid? What more do you need? I'm I got well, Martin. If I was a star point guard, you know what I would want more than anything else? A great big man. Sure. And you've got one of the greatest big men in the league of this era. And you got quality role players. Why are you looking for another situation? Look, Chris, it, it, I'm going to update your, uh, your, your, your above the rim reference. He's a runner. He's a track star. He's going to run away when it gets hard. That song came out two years ago, and it could have been about James Harden. Now, look, y'all heard Chris, right? Y'all heard him. And me personally, if I'm an NBA franchise, I don't want nothing to do with James Harden. Like, if I'm a team that got a chance to win a chip, like if I'm in the middle of the pack, or a team that got a chance to win a chip, I don't don't even call my phone about James Harden. Like, you hanging up. I, don't call me about James Harden. You can call me about the young fella. Um, having a brain fart right now. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Fast young fella. I can't think of his name right now. I randomly forget players' names. I don't know why. Or MB. You can that's, don't call me about James Harden. I don't want. Don't call my phone about James Harden. Like, I don't even understand. Like, no, I'm good. So, yeah, man, that's that one, man. It was real quick. You feel me? So, I'm going to get back at y'all on the next one. Peace.